Welcome to the Proximity Retail Super App. Today we're going to be focusing on the Commerce Hub. The Commerce Hub with Proximity brings together all the rich content and copy available for products into the hands of the users. It can be integrated with stock management to show real-time inventory availability, allowing users to deliver omni-channel client journeys such as order in store, deliver to home, and click to click collect and order online. So with the product catalog, I'm operating inside of my iPad here today. You'll notice some similarities across the top. Keeping that UX really familiar to the user, that way we're not changing things as we change screens. From left to right, you can see at the top left we have our image capture icon. This is again just like the uh, customer hub. We're going to be able to tap into that device camera, scan things like QR codes, um, barcodes, and RFIDs if that's something the brand would like to do. The search bar across the top is that enterprise grade search um, that gives us the ability to be able to search across all products inside of our system. So any uh, specific information that we're capturing on your products, you'll be able to search across the top here. Things like sizes, um, fits, materials, colors, price, all of those things can be searched across the top, making it easy for your users to be able to find those products um, that the customer is looking for as quickly as possible. To the far right, this is our filtering mechanism. A little bit different than the customer side, we have dynamic filters on the product hub here, which is gonna allow us to adjust filters on the fly. So if my customer's coming in, they're looking for uh, Michael Kors, I have that selected already. Um, let's say they're looking for a specific size based on availability. Um, I can go in here and select the small, and what you'll see behind the screen here is that the images are going to change based on my availability and basing, based on my search criteria and filtering criteria. Um, so we have the ability to build these dynamic filters. Your associates will also have the ability to save these filters. So if there's a specific filter that I'm searching for at the moment that I really like for my customer, I can go down here at the bottom, I can save that filter, I can even give it a name, um, something like top searched, click yes, and now as an associate, anytime I log into the system, I'll be able to go in and grab um, that filter anytime I need to find something quickly. So something that's completely owned and maintained by the associates to give them uh, ownership over the app and of course that, that quick flexibility in order to finding the products as quickly as possible. So we'll clear those filters and we'll go back into our product hub and I'll continue giving the tour from the top down. Of course we have our sort by feature. This is configurable. Um, you have the ability to sort by price, by name, really by any uh, sort of data point that we are capturing again on these products. So depending on how you want the brand and your associates to use the app and sort through products, making it as easy as possible, that is something that we can configure uh, inside of the app. And then of course the ascending and descending feature here, if we're sorting by a specific price, I can go in and sort by descending. Um, and then of course I can sort by ascending as well too. The products are gonna show up on the screen here, so we're pulling in all of your rich images, um, whether that be through commerce or through a you know, back-end data, database system. Um, we're gonna be pulling in all those products real time, giving you uh, really rich photos and images of each of those individual items. As, you're, as you move through and as you find the product you like, we're gonna to start to show off all of that PDP rich information that we're capturing. Um, so across the top, things like uh, names and selling prices, we can also show any sort of promotions. If you have a promotional engine that you'd like us to tap into, we can pull in all those promotions as well. Colors and sizing, depending on the type of product, um, this varies across our industries. Of course, as we're working with jewelry, uh, watches, those things uh, tend to change on how you look at sizing and material and metals and cuts and things like that. Those will change the same with furniture. Um, we're seeing a lot of that in the furniture world, so this is a configurable layout. Um, so we can really uh, tap into the flexibility of our app to showcase exactly um, the, the product pages to, to, to somewhat mirror what you guys have going on in, uh, on your commerce site. Um, the sizing section here, again, this changes, like I said, with the industry. Uh, the cool thing about this is, like I said in the beginning, if we're tapping into inventory and wherever you're housing inventory, we can show real-time inventory at a store location, uh, at an e-com location or warehouse location uh, in real time for the associate. So that way we're not selling things that we don't have um, and making the customer uh, unhappy that they're not gonna be able to leave with that item today. But as you change the size, as you change the color, these numbers will shift in real time. 
should you decide to integrate with uh, your inventory system. The product details here on the bottom left, this is where you really get to get creative um, and choose the amount of information you want to surface to your associates. The part I love about this is for your new trainees, um, for your new hires, being able to give them as much data as possible right here in this little section um, to, to speak intelligently about the product they're selling to the customer. Um, what the maintenance is on that product, how often you should clean it, if you should tumble dry, whatever it might be, having all those details right here, including things like embedding you know, videos or GIFs on this page as well too if you wanted to turn this around and show it to the customer. Recommendations, um, the recommendations bit, this is going to allow for your associate to provide AI generated recommendations. So today we're tapping into things like Einstein uh, recommendations, we're tapping into third party recommendation engines, and us at Proximity even have our own recommendation logic that's kind of wrapped behind these products as well too, that is configurable as well at the brand level. Um, so if you do want to use something like that out of the box, we do have that we can offer. The recommendations as they sit out of the box are going to be able to show you things like items right out here off the cusp that mirror or mimic that item. Maybe it's the same brand, the same style, same color, same fit, whatever it might be. Um, we're going to show that here at a glance so the associate can easily go in and grab things and add them to the baskets if they need. And then of course the show rec more recommendations piece is going to allow you to get more granular with that. So if I wanted to see things that were frequently bought together, um, there aren't any here, but if I wanted to see similar products, I can go in here and I can start to build out a, uh, a bigger basket for my customer and, and hopefully increase that transaction size altogether. And then at the very bottom down here, we have our recently viewed. This is more for the associate. So this is the associate. Maybe I work in separate departments. I'm also you know, managing a furniture piece inside of this app. Um, but this is where I can see my previous things that I've, I've searched for or I've looked at inside of the app. So it's kind of like a, um, a cache for the associate to be able to quickly get back to products um, in case something sounds like it would be a, a good fit for the customer that they're engaging with. So that's the PDP page in whole. Um, tune in for the next episode and we'll start to get into uh, Collection Builder and then we'll bring it all back around and we'll talk about Proximity's Transact features. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.